We're leaving our hotel nice and early because it's a big day. We're traveling from Avignon, our home base in Provence, down to Marseille and on to some other sites. In this episode, we're going to get you down to Marseille and have a walk around. So you can get there by train from Avignon to Marseille, either on the TGV, which is what we're about to do. There's a shuttle bus that takes you from Avignon Center over to the TGV station, which is a few miles outside of town, outside of the old walled city of Avignon and along the River Rhone. Uh, it just takes about 20 minutes or less to get over to the TGV station. And it's a beautiful station. The train is ultra fast and modern and sleek. So we'll catch that 9 a.m. departure for Marseille and it only takes 30 minutes of travel time so it's really fast and so comfortable in the TGV. On the other hand you could go uh, in the slower train directly from the other train station in Avignon Center. It takes a couple minutes to walk to the main street. In five minutes you're in the center of town. We were amazed to see this huge trompe l'oeil mural covering a building. It was really quite fun to check it out and then we walked inside. There was some kind of a trade show going on inside this very impressive rotunda of the Chamber of Commerce. So we just took a quick peek and turned around and continued out onto the street down to the old port, which is really the most interesting part of Marseille for the visitor. It's a wonderful marina. It's about 80 acres in size with hundreds and hundreds of pleasure boats. There's a cruise ship port a few miles from here around the bend in a different harbor. But this is the pleasure port. We've got sailboats and motorcraft. It was a bit of a gnarly day today, a light rain, not so bad. It would stop for a while. We could put our umbrellas down, run across the street, and up the steps, you get the best view of Marseille from this terrace. So be sure to walk up that staircase and have a look back across the harbor. It's really wonderful. The harbor is quite lovely and there's some main busy streets. This is the second biggest city in France, so it's certainly worth taking a look at it. And we're waiting for the museum to open. This is a brand new museum of European and Mediterranean civilizations. We waited for the tardy gatekeeper to open the door and then walked across this spectacular pedestrian bridge one of a couple of wonderful bridges that are connecting these buildings. This was just opened in June of 2013 and it's built on reclaimed land right next to the site of the 17th century Fort Saint-Jean. This bold architecture was designed by Rudy Ricciotti in collaboration with Roland Carta. The building is a cube of 15,000 square meters surrounded by a latticework shell of fiber reinforced concrete. And it houses exhibits on two different levels with a cafe on the roof. Well, we didn't take the time to visit inside on this trip. We've got to return. We want to spend some time exploring other neighborhoods of this second largest city in France. A helpful red line has been painted along the sidewalk to help guide your way so that you don't get lost. An interesting old town style neighborhood extends out from the museum. It's actually been rebuilt largely after World War II because there was heavy damage from fighting with the Germans and Italians here. But they've rebuilt it in the old style with the narrow lanes. There's quite a few pedestrian lanes here and those staircase streets. You've got your neighborhood shops and cafes. There's a very peaceful and quiet atmosphere in this kind of old town village. There's a little bit of up and down walking after all, it's on a hill, but just follow the lanes back down, down, down towards the port. It's very easy to find your way here. Marseille is considered the oldest city in France and perhaps the oldest in all of Western Europe. As far as we know, there is no city in the region with a more ancient history. It is superbly situated on a bay of the Gulf of Lions, backed by limestone hills. 
and you will soon be walking along the promenade and there's cafes and restaurants by the harbor. It's really quite a lovely scene. Obviously, there's a lot more to see in Marseille, but we're just doing a little reconnaissance, a little walk through some of the main highlights. It gets a lot of visitors, like four million visitors came in 2012. It's one of the most visited cities in all of France. So there's many more things to see, but not for us today. It's time to go. You could easily walk back to the train station from this central part of town. But we thought, oh, let's try the metro. It's the only metro station I've ever seen that has a fish tank. This fish tank has been here for many years and the fish are doing quite nicely. It's a good diversion to check them out while you're waiting for the next train to come along. It's a very easy way to get around here. It's just a couple of stops from the harbor. It just takes a few minutes to arrive at the St. Charles station. When you get out of the subway, it's quite easy to find your way. You just follow the signs. Everything is very clean and safe and well lit. And it's wonderful they have these escalators. You see how deep underground the subway is. And so don't walk up the staircase outside. Take the escalators. And they have done an incredible job of rebuilding and expanding and modernizing this train station in recent years. It seems to have doubled in size and it's become an indoor shopping mall, an entertainment center. You've got musicians. How nice to have a piano available for the public. Anybody could just sit down and start playing. This guy was passing through with his backpack. You can get direct trains to many parts of the country from here. Paris is only three hours away by TGV. Quite remarkable. We are continuing our journey up to Aix-en-Provence and we'll save that visit for another episode.